Alright, time for a set jungle game. I'm against a Nocturne, which is a pretty reasonable matchup for me. He does have much better clear speed than me, so that's definitely something I have to keep in mind. Uh, so my main objective here, I suppose, is just to put as much pressure out on my lanes as I can. And I think mid lane gank is maybe the best option. Maybe top, depends on the wave position. But I'll definitely start bot side and then clear towards like, I, like top side, either one of the two. I'll try to get a gank off. Also, like the Alawi into Fiora matchup is pretty rough for Alawi, generally speaking. So if I can kind of alleviate her pressure a little bit by getting an early gank off on a Fiora that's going to push her out most likely, that would be nice. Whoa, wait, that's actually scary. The fact that she ran from bot side there. Okay, they're out. Please don't still be here. They definitely went for some kind of invade there, because that would be a very weird position for the top player to actually walk. Uh, they have double heal bot lane and a Zerath Ezreal. I think I'm cutting this back. As far as possible. Whoa. The reason I'm cutting this back is just so I can avoid maybe an Ezreal Q or like a Zerath Q that may potentially snipe it. Okay. I'm gonna do it in here. Take a bunch of damage. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Okay, looks like I'm good there. Yeah, Fiora is already putting the pressure on my top laner, so that's fine. I just do a blue Gromp here, hit level 3 and then go for it. I need to hit level 3 on set, like you absolutely have to, so... Yeah. I won't use any potions, by the way, either right now, because it's pretty pointless. I'll get, like, a smite off here still, and then also Gromp heals me, so it's really not worth using a potion. Ah, that's unfortunate. I rather would have not seen that. Oh, that's actually... A one-for-one one trade there is not too bad. They're both gonna TP now, I would assume. So, based off that and, like, a double kill, I'm assuming some flashes have been burned. I may be able to kill the Fiora. Just gonna tell him to freeze. Now I'll pop a potion and I will start just going towards top here. Alright, this is a good opportunity for me to run towards Fiora. She hasn't warded yet because she hasn't walked down here yet. She's level 2. She probably doesn't have flash. Oh, this is good. That's a very good situation. Just have to be very careful. Like, I don't know if she has her parry thing yet. She definitely did. Nice. Very good. Oh, yeah, these minions are following me. Nocturne level 4, 18 CS. I just helped my Alawi a massive amount. Like, that gank right there does everything for her. Because now she can hold the wave. Like, Fiora lost so much, basically. That's why that gank there was really, really ideal. And that's something that I was looking for from the very start here. My best play is actually just walk straight through mid here. Maybe avoid him from backing and then go for bot scuttle because the Nocturne was top side there. And bot scuttle might still be up based on that information. He also has 18 CS. Yeah, there it is. So I can actually get a nice scuttle advantage here potentially. If I can do scuttle into a bot gank, that would be amazing. Please go up. Go in, go in, go in, go in. What are we waiting on? Come on, kill him! Okay, he's dead. My, my thrash went very late there. Like, extremely late there, but at least we still killed him, so I'm happy about that. Now I just have to make sure that I help push this wave out. Because they are kind of low, they don't have too much mana, so helping push the wave here is ideal. Speed is everything there, so we can all get it back, well played. They just used their stuff, so this is good. Also on this back, I can now get my Tiamat, which is nice. And yeah, that's really what you want to look for, like, initially on set. Just look for that pressure. Look for those gank situations. Like, just clear three camps initially and then look for the ganks. Try to get yourself a Tiamat. You can also get Futures Market if you want, but i rather just have the free boots and Approach. Approach is amazing for set because it, it allows you to just have that little bit of extra distance to get in range of stuff, which is really nice. And it also means that you can't get kited very easily. So that's why I like it a lot, for jungle set at least, like, full plane set, I don't know, but 
Yeah. Wait, he, he got out and then goes back in. Interesting. I just run mid here. The reason I just run mid here and skip my camp is because XP. Uh, minion, this minion wave XP is more or less is better than this. Oh, I'm getting spamping by my graves. I see. Interesting. He's the one that's suicided and spamping the jungler, a classic. I am not surprised. Seth's very good at doing dragon, so I definitely want to like look for an opportunity of doing dragon here soon. I'll move in with my with my uh, thresh here. We can just go for bot lane. Ah, uh, but you didn't see it, Thresh. You walked the other direction there. He's level 6, so I actually can't fight him. That's unfortunate. We potentially could have killed him there if the Thresh was right on the reaction speed with this. Nice. We can do Dragon here. Please hit fl Flay, Q, Flay, this, no. I really, like, I'm so close to six, it's actually insane. I can get third aggro, I have to tank this for my Thresh. The fact that Graves stayed mid there is pretty bad, because we could have definitely done some dragon stuff with the Graves if he would have moved up for it, but, I, I mean... He is the type of guy that just flames me for him dying, so that's not gonna happen. Pretty sure he typed something about AFK mid, so I'm pretty sure he's just not gonna react to anything anymore. It's unfortunate, but you have those types of players here in your team every now and then. Smite this. Hitting Dragon there from Thresh's situation was not that good, because we didn't have any reaction from our laners. If the uh, Graves would have come down to us, or if the Cinder would have moved up to us, then we may have been able to start the dragon there, but that's why I wasn't hitting dragon either, because neither of them were reacting, so that would be a pretty bad situation for me. Which it almost was for the Thresh there, admittedly. Alright, I do have a quite a good amount of gold, but I want to finish these camps. I may be able to cheese a gank on the Fiora here. Pretty sure she doesn't have any wards right now. Ideal to get both here, because you take more damage, which actually makes your W do more damage. And there your shield goes up further. Smite that. There we go. Let's do I'm I think I just run top here, right? Right, that goes, then she walks back up, and then I'll go for it. If she walks back up, doesn't look like it. Damn, maybe I lose dragon here. If that was if, like, yeah, I might lose dragon here. Mm, dragon here would be pretty unfortunate, but I'm topside now, so if the Nocturne actually goes for it. That's mid, probably. I'm assuming that's mid. Yeah, has to be mid. Whew. Okay, I was actually kind of close. You played that pretty smart, I will say. I'm gonna get one plate here. My ult's ready as well. Nocturnal is not, but I have like 2,000 gold, so I'd rather back. Too much gold, like... i just fling him. Good. In that situation, I mean, if he just walks up in that, into a bad position, like he was trying to 1v1 somebody. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go for it. Get this. Get a control ward. It's good. Like, I'm really looking for that pressure whilst, like, somewhat clearing my camps. I'm not super heavy clearing camps here because Set can't really do that. Even if I have, like, TM at, it's just, it's still not that great. 
So I'm just so much clearing my camps and I'm looking for stuff that is out of position when my ult's up, when I can just walk up to somebody. And uh, it's really like, yeah, the way Seth's jungle is played. Can be a bit dice rolly for that reason though. Yeah, the dragon was going to be gone there regardless. There was no way I get there in time. So I wasn't even going to bother trying. I just clear some camps here, I think. Bot lane is un... Like, I can't do anything in this situation. Maybe if I waited out a little bit. I think they're just going to back. If I clear towards top now and go for Rift Herald before 40 minutes, I could still get some gold out of that. And some map pressure at the same time, of course, but yeah. So I think, I think that's what I'll do here. So I'll do Gromp into Rift Herald and I use Rift Herald for either top or mid turret. And that should be all done before 40 minutes without too much of a hassle. Yeah, so when bot lane, that's fine. Nocturne is bot side as well. Yeah, I'll just do Rift Herald here. He dies, actually. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, he got lucky. So, yeah, I'll do this, and then I'll see how top is. If top is, like, insta-killable with Rift Herald, I'll do that. But I think I may go mid, mid lane with this Rift Herald. Nocturne is mid. I don't care about this too much. It should be fine. I just definitely go for a Herald here. It's in a, such a bad spot, I can't walk behind it. Alright, let's just... Come on. That was so slow. Alright, he gets some free plates, but... If I've just engaged the fight on him here. Like, right, right now, I'm just gonna do... Alright, so he's gonna spell shield this. He didn't spell shield that. Alright, whilst I get feared, I fling him back and then... I have Approach Velocity. Yep, there we go. That's why we have Approach Velocity. That's beautiful. And that's why I love having Approach Velocity. That's literally the perfect example of why I take Approach Velocity. It is so nice for that situation. That is third aggro. Are you serious, my guy? Let's get third plates here. I'll share the gold with my Graves. It's not an issue. And that's gonna kill. That's good. Get one bounce and I'll walk for bot scuttle. It's gonna get the bounce, so I'll walk for bot scuttle here. Fresh walk up, please. Mm, he's gonna be barely too late. It's okay. Didn't reach. Damn. Graves definitely over pushed here. Like, this is too greedy. He definitely wanted to get the second turret, but Nocturne's gonna be back there. Nocturne most likely has, like, his ult up and everything, and that's why we just. Yeah, I don't go for that. That's why I instantly walk away. As long as I get the bounce, I'll be happy with the situation. But overextending there is just gonna result into me dying, and that's not gonna be worth my shutdown. I make sure I do a couple camps here. Oh, okay, Boltman just. My ADC just died. I do a couple camps here. I want to try to hit like level 11. Dragon's gonna spawn in like 140. Ideally, I'd want to get a back in before that, get some items, and then look to do the dragon. I actually don't know if I'm allowed to back here. Do I have to defend Bolt Turret? I'm gonna stand all the way down on the side so I don't get hit by Zeref's skill shots. I have to back right now. I have 2700 gold and Dragon's gonna spawn on the minute, so I have to base. Alright, boots. Um, definitely going ninjas here. Steel caps, I guess. And then I will build these two. Sell this for this. Beautiful. Move towards this dragon. Alright, so right now I'm trying to get the next dragon here. I think I should be okay. Like, Alawi is mid. Alawi is pretty strong. Top lane was just solo killed, which is good as well. I have to go... I think I have to run mid here, because I think the Nocturne may ult the Alawi. Actually, if he ults the Alawi, I think Alawi just wins that. Killing this ward is going to hit me level 11, so I'm going to kill this real quick. 15 seconds. 
Oh, I see a Zarath out of position, so we're going for this. Good day, mate. Smites. Nice. I had a, uh, the reason I smited there is because it gives me approach velocity and my move speed increase, but also like I still had a smite charge. If I didn't have another smite charge there, I'd never smite there. It would be a terrible choice. You have to make sure that you have a smite charge ready for dragon. And ideally here, I'd want to tank the dragon so my W starts stacking up and not the Alawi, because then I can W smite combo the dragon. I'll take this. Give me this. Good. Alright, looking good here. And I don't think Nocturne's gonna go on my Lau here, so I'll just clear some camps. Do I have to go mid? I think I go mid here. I think on this HP, Nocturne may ult the Alawi soon. Oh, he's one HP. I didn't kill him. Oh, I killed him somehow. I don't know what killed him there, to be honest. Give me a lantern. Give me a lantern. That's a death. Okay. Still give me a lantern. That's not too bad, actually. That will work. Nah, not too bad. I was trying to uh, get the Noxion away from my Alawi so she could live, but I barely just didn't have the damage to kill. I'm actually going to clear this. Like normally like leaving counter jungled camps on the enemy team isn't is a pretty good move But in this case, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have the pressure on him the rest of the game So I think just counter jungling uh, I'm Essentially killing the camp is gonna de counter jungle myself Because his jungle is my jungle no, I thought he was actually gonna walk up there I still have like another time like I have some time to do this next herald here in like 40 seconds Which is something I'm definitely gonna look for I actually have a titanic I'll back for the titanic right now and then move up towards my top side clear these two camps and then look for the herald or maybe even not clear the camps and just do Herald, but yeah. I'll definitely invest the money and then get two control wards. After these like two items, these are generally my core damage items. And then I'll just look for some defensive stuff. So like a Sterax, Stone Plate, uh, all stuff like that. Like just a general defensiveness is going to be good. Like you can go Spirit Visage, you can do all kinds of stuff. But generally like these two items here they are very, very solid for a damage combination on set. Alright, so I'm gonna do Gromp into Rift Herald here. This Rift Herald's gonna open their base up, basically. If I can use that for mid turret, that's gonna open the base instantly. I think I may have to run for mid here. I have I have to keep in mind the Rift Herald time, but if I can kill this Yasuo here, because he's gonna otherwise push the turret down, and I don't necessarily feel like losing mid turret. They won the fight on bottom. I'm just quickly gonna do the Rift Herald here. Wait, Fiora's doing Rift Herald. Good day, mate. I think I'm just gonna finish the Rift Herald. It should be fine. Fiora won't be able to fight me. I have like a minute to kill this. 55 seconds. I don't know if I can win a fight though in a 2v1. 1v1 against Fiora should be more than, re more than fine. Yep, there we go. I make sure I ult him right that second, so I don't get destroyed. Kill the Rift Herald there. Nice. Very good. Well, I was essentially trying to time my uh, W, so she would assume that I hit her with something. She presses W. So as soon as she presses the W, I press my W because my charge up time is going to be longer than her charge up time for her thing. So I would hit her with it guaranteed because she can't move out of it at that point. So I kind of wait her, waiting for her to make that mistake and she did, which is really nice for me. And then as soon as the Yasuo tried to uh, land his knock up on me for the combo there, I ult him instead. That's the exact combo timing I was waiting for with my ult so he can't land the knock up on me. So Because if I ult him first... And he still has the knock-up charge for it. He could still knock up, knock me up afterwards, ult me into the air, and I just die at that HP. So I'd have to stall for as long as possible there as well for my cooldowns to come back up. 
Now I just play for the dragon in 30 seconds. I mean, I have like three minutes on this, okay. I'm just gonna do blue, I suppose. Hit this plant for vision. Be careful for the Yasuo knock up still, because I can easily die if I'm not careful. Approach velocity is pretty nice. My W now is a pretty low cooldown, so just using it is not an issue. I'm gonna go for dragon here. Like, regardless of any of this fight, just getting the next dragon is gonna be worth it. I don't have smite, but it should be fine. Yeah. I have two minutes left on the Rift Herald. I really want to use it mid here, but I'm not sure if I actually can. This might be a really try too greedy of a use. I need to wait for my team to get back on the map. To this camp in the meantime. Oh shit. Maybe in a terrible spot here. I missed. Come on. I'm just gonna flash for it, I think. Damn it, I probably shouldn't have flashed for that. Spell shield used. Yora's dead here. That's gonna kill her there. I'm gonna use the Herald mid whilst the fight's going on. Where's it gonna go? I think I'm just gonna try to flank them from this side then. That missed? Oh, I'm so sad. That's depression. At least I got the bounce, I guess. My team shouldn't have committed to that fight. We just killed the Fiora for free and we could have just walked out, gone mid lane, gone Baron. Would have been better. I had a pretty rough time getting back into that fight situation. Darkness doesn't make things easier either. At least I got the Herald bounce on mid lane, which makes his third really low. Let's get red buff here. I was gonna be back up in 30 seconds. I think I just stall for a bit or something. Our Baron damage is pretty low, I'd say, because we don't have consistent DPS on it. Graves is building full burst. We have a Cinder ADC. Cinder ADC here is good, by the way. Like, I don't mind it, of course, but it does cost some Baron damage. I do have enough for Starax. He just, like, lanterns me in. Give me this. I was hoping he'd go for that. We can definitely Baron here, but we need the Graves, technically. Oh, that's a dead. That's This is death. That's death. Just kill the, the Yasuo first. Kill the Yasuo first. Just take him down. As soon as he dies, it's going to be a 45 regardless. Don't all walk towards top side, please. And Graves is on the bot side. We should be good here. Yeah, this is like... As, soon as, as long as they cut him off, which they're doing not the greatest job of. Okay, now we can Baron. This is free Baron. Just having one person down there to avoid them from actually having a chance to teamfight us is going to be ideal, and that's why we kill him there. But we should have split off. Like, they basically should have all looped this way and let me go that way, because, I mean, Yasuo is always going to die to me. So he'd, he'd be stuck there. Oh, this is very sketchy. It's a pretty low range. I can't actually finish Baron here. Graves isn't helping, like, Graves is just AFKing mid here, which is not that great. Focus his clone down. That's ah, just, I couldn't reach him. Right, Graves kills, that's good. If I see him dive in, I'm going for it. I think I just base here. I, we don't have Baron damage because Graves isn't helping. Without Graves, we're not finishing this Baron. I don't think we are. You need to let me tank kill or you're going to die. 
Yeah, this Graves is kind of griefing us. Again, ult him so he doesn't mess me up and then kill him, I guess. If Graves would have just come to Baron in either of the two times, he is our main Baron DPS, so he needs to be there. But if he doesn't show up, then we can't finish Baron. So both Baron calls end up being a bad call. Which is really unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about it, sadly. I think he just has, like, maybe a farm, like, uh, just a farm thing that he has to, like, accomplish. Or he doesn't want to play with his team. That is another thing that could be the case as well. I don't know what to say about it. But yeah, it is just such. Is this plant up? I really want to get the dragon, but if this plant's up, that'd be good. It is up. Okay, good. Eh, uh, whatever. I'll do dragon. How would you teleport to mid there? That's a pretty big... Bit, pretty. That teleport is a waste. There's no reason to teleport right here. Uh, Grace is dead, I think. Look at this. I'm not gonna bother helping him. He's overextending too much there. There's realistically nothing we can do for him. I have 2800 gold. I'm just gonna get red back. Mm. The uh, coordination of the team play is not that great on this in this game. Making things a little bit more difficult. I will go for stone plate next. Actually, I can pro. Mm, uh, whatever, I'll get stone plate next first. Whatever. Get some magic resist in here. I just need this Graves to actually, like, group up with us and, like, properly play for a Baron. Do I just go bolt here and kill this guy? I think I might. I can do the same thing here. Just go kill this guy and then look for Baron afterwards. I think he's gonna walk up, most likely. He's doing the camp, okay, fine. If he's gonna recall somewhere. Otherwise, I just walk through here to mid lane. He didn't even clear the wave. He's clearing my camp. He should have cleared this wave so it's at least pushing towards the other side. Oh no, oh boy. Okay, that's bad. Okay. Damn it. I really wanted to flash on him there. Ooh, rough. I'm pretty bad miss. Oh, okay, I need dice. Oh, I'm having an issue here. That missed. Oh, he's walking into it. That's pretty. Not too not smart walking into Ilawi with this combo. I'll just focus this thing. I don't want to ult to see, like, maybe you should have ulted through there. What do I do here? It's pretty hard to hit her with anything. I guess I just play slow for Dragon. Hope my Syndra doesn't walk out of position like that again. Maybe I have to hold her hand a little bit better. It's actually not that easy to win these team fights because I mean they're just like solo split off walking and dying the entire time. And I need my graves to actually do something this game. gonna fling him into the team there we go double kill very good set w this is baron here grace now has bolt pressure should be fine to baron damage this i hope at least i mean i don't like the fact that he's not playing with us like if he was playing this game with us this would have just been over so long ago i'm taking a massive risk here I killed him. Graves is pushing bolt in the meantime, I think, so I think overall it's fine. 
Just finish it. It's so hard to do Baron without like an AD carry. He's pushing Bolt on hip here, which is fine, but still like it's really difficult to do Baron. I think we should forget the idea of doing Baron if Graves never wants to help. I can't finish this, it's not possible. Walk up to him. I'm just gonna ult him, I think. Safety. But it's not that long of a cooldown. I'll just back and get the, the, dra the dragon. I'm... We have to forget about Baron. Like, I'm trying to do Baron, which is generally a pretty good call to go for stuff, but without Graves, we just do not have the damage for Baron, so it's just not happening. Like, Seth's Baron damage isn't that good. We have no other ADC here because we have a Syndra, because we, like, had a Graves forcing Graves mid. And the ADC decided to pick something AP, which is pretty good. But yeah, we, we lack the consistent DPS if the ADC, as in Graves, doesn't show up for Baron. I'm definitely starting Dragon here. Actually, I don't have Smite. This is really, really risky what I'm doing right now. I don't have Smite. I have to be careful here. Oh, I stopped hitting it. Luckily, I stopped hitting it. I was really hoping that it wouldn't do that much damage. I really want to take red here, but Grace is going to be faster there, and he's most likely not even going to use the red at all. Alright. Um, I know for a fact that the Syndra will not be able to defend against the Fiora here. But that's a little bit sketchy. I think Grace may be going top lane. It appears that he is. It's actually pretty decent for him to go top here that so graves has the backup to kill fiora that's a, this is a good situation for him Elawi is splitting off though what are you doing man it's really hard to get anything going here it's completely no team play i do like the fact that we have the drake soul now to help us sustain ourselves I just want to get the third down. GG Yasuo quit. Okay, well, I guess that's an, the end of it. I mean, realistically, we should never have been able to lose this game anyway. It's just the Graves that have made it really slow to win this one. It's a little unfortunate. I didn't want to ult that because I'd go too deep into two turrets. A lot of damage, bro. Oh, I didn't kill him though, sadly. Set W did like 1200 damage to him. Max 1300 damage, ouch. Alright then. I'll finish. I'm just hitting Nexus. Like, I'm not bothered with the rest of this. Alright, GG's. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit this thumbs up button below helps me out quite a bit if you'd like to see more videos for oh, jesus christ if you'd like to see more videos for me in the future hit the subscribe button as well and i'll see you guys in the next one bye